Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, good morning, my people. How are you doing today? Wherever you are, I hope you're looking after yourself. Today is a breaking news. APC fixed dates for Edo Undo Global Primaries. Uh, we know that um, Edo Undo primaries has been lingering on and there was uncertainty regarding the days due to coronavirus. Uh, but now it's just been fixed. Um, it's just dropping on us red hot. And you know, we keep you up to date, giving you the hottest and the latest. So we go straight to the news and get all the details. Breaking news. APC fixed dates for Edo Undo Global primaries. The ruling All Progressive Congress APC has announced Monday, 20, Monday June 22nd and Monday July 20th for its global ship primary election in Edo and Ondo. So Edo is June the 22nd, Ondo July 20th. This came as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said it would stick to its timetable and schedules for the activities regarding the election in both states. The National Commission and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee of INEC, Festus Okoye, and a statement on Tuesday night said the commission has met earlier in the day and deliberated on a wide range of issues, including the, how to conduct the primaries of Edo and Ondo governorship elections, as well as the nine outstanding by-elections in different parts of the country. He said the commission deliberated extensively on a policy framework that will guide its operations, activities, and engagement with critical stakeholders in view of the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on the electoral process in Nigeria. Based on this, the Commission will, on Thursday, 21st May 2020, issue a policy framework for engaging with stakeholders. The conduct of the two ends of terminal governorship election, outstanding by election, and future electoral activities. The Commission reiterated its commitment to conduct the Edo Ondo governorship election on September 19th and 10th October 2020 as contained in the timetable scheduled for the activities released on the 6th of February 2020. We reassure Nigerians of our resolved and determination to prove the request guidelines, innovations, leadership in conducting elections in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Commission is committed to fulfilling its constitutional responsibility of coordinating elections, but without jeopardizing the health and well-being of citizens, stakeholders, of its valued staff. The Commission will accelerate constitutional and engagement policies with political parties as soon as possible. Civil society, organizations, security agencies, and health authorities, as well as its policy framework, is finalized this week. We again urge everyone to remain safe and healthy by complying with all the guidelines and protocols issued by the health authorities, he said. APC, in a notice by its National Organization Secretary, Emma, fixed the course of its nomination and exp expression of interest form for 22,500 million cumulatively. Why there, are, why there is no separate charge for running mates, 
female and physically challenged aspirants were, however, gained a 50% rebose fee. Uh, well, my people, you've heard it all. Finally, the date for the primary has been fixed. Uh, what this means is that for fractional APC, uh, like in a dose state where we have the EPM, they have to quickly work on a consensus candidate. Um, since these two states have governors who are already serving the first term, but yet being insisted on having a primary, uh, I know for Ondo, they've picked a consensus candidate already that will contest in the primary against the present governor. Uh, the person they picked that was one okay. The present governor is Akere Dolu. So the primaries will be conducted in Ondo between OK and Akere Dolo. But that of uh, Edo State has not been finalized because the fractional APC, talking about EPN, where we have Pius, we have Izi Iyamu, we have Charles, um, it has not been decided on who will uh, flag the ticket. I think and some other party members as well that wants to contest. It has not been decided who will fly the ticket for the um, opposition in a fight. What I mean is electoral fight, battle against uh, the person of Governor Godwin Obaseki. They tried some time ago to have that election, but could not come up with a consensus candidate as um, it ended in a deadlock and um, so many issues resolved. Uh, they were being criticized that they already picked a consensus candidate and that the um, 14 lawmakers that were called in to come and vote already were biased as they felt they were just choosing Izi Iyamo. So that led to a deadlock and they could not continue with the primaries. So one of the things, it is just, uh, this was just decided and it dropped last night. Uh, you heard the news, um, INEC had deliberations in the day and concluded it in the night. And this was just released to us, you know, uh, in the night that they finally had a consensus candidate and um, uh, they already, they, had, they finally have a date for the primaries. Uh, they were, there were speculations if they should move it with regards to COVID-19. But since the COVID, the whole COVID-19 uh, issue is being resolved, I mean, the lockdown is being eased off gradually. I think that's why they are going ahead and having these primaries. So the primaries will be conducted between uh, to be conducted between in a do in on do between uh akere dolu and uh okay but in a do uh godin obaseki is the only known candidate by apc we don't know the consensus candidate yet we don't know the consensus candidate by the fractional um apc yet which happens to be epn a do uh, people's movement we don't know their um results yet we don't know what um what they were what they are up to yet because they are yet to have a consensus candidate i think now that uh with the, with this in view that um they will be having the election no sooner than soonest they will have to quickly work on it and get the consensus candidate and as soon as that comes up trust us we keep you uh, updated with the hottest the latest as it drops uh what we're going to advise here what we're going to say is people please enough is enough of putting yourself on the line for any politician no politician is worth it in politics right betrayer is the order of the day please don't allow yourself to be used as a tog as a scapegoat for any political party they don't deserve it trust me when they get there they will even forget your name how much more that you exist please if you're participating go there vote and leave if you are participating in any way form or kind go there vote and leave don't allow yourself in any way form or kind to get involved or to be used as a tog. Remember what goes on in this party, these elections is always very, it's not very nice. And if you enjoy yourself or anything happens to you, your family will bear the brunt. You are the one who will suffer the injury and the person, the candidate whom you even, 
stuck out your neck for. We forget or we not even remember. And when they talk, they will tell you you are part of um, part of the casualty of a uh, war. Uh -huh. They will not even take it seriously. We meanwhile, your children, your wife, your family will be the ones to bear the brunt. So please, stick stick to the guidelines. Don't allow yourself to be used by anyone. Anyway, we're keeping it real and keeping you informed with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Don't forget you have a voice. Use it and keep safe. God bless and bye for now.